Hi, I'm Mike Siviter, a trainer at Worcester Bosch, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to set some of the basic functions for the Compress 2000. When you're commissioning the heat pump, one of the most basic things that you'll have to set is the heat curve, and I want to show you how to do that. So first off, you need to weigh the display up, press the padlock button to unlock it, and you'll hear a beep so you know it's done. Then we're going to go into the menu using the two lines, and then we're going to navigate to preset temperature. Press the return button to go into it, and press the right arrow to select weather temperature set. Now we've only got one heating zone here, so we're going to go to zone one, heat mode, high temp, and I'm going to press the on off button to enable the weather comp. Now I've got a number of choices here, one to eight are predefined heat curves, but number nine is a custom one, and that's the one that I'm going to go for. So I'll press the return arrow to select that. That's enabled the weather compensation curve as a custom one, and then I'm going to come back out to the main display and we're going to navigate down to for service man. I'm going to press the enter button to go into it and you'll have to put in a code which is by default 234. When you're in there or when you've put the code in press the return button to go into it and then go to heat mode setting and in heat mode setting if you have a look through the display you're looking for T1 set H1 which is the high point of the curve and T1 set H2 which is the low point of the curve. Now you'll set these according to the design that you had. So if I've got a heating system that runs at minus three and it's 55 degrees when it is minus three, I'm gonna set my high point, if I go into it, to 50, let's say. So 50 degrees at minus three, and then T4H1 is the temperature that that occurs, so 50 and minus three. For the low point of the curve, H2, I'm gonna set at 25, and if I go to the next screen, I'll see the temperature when it achieves that. So 20 degrees is about right. So on this custom curve, it's gonna be 50 at minus three and 25 degrees when it's 20 degrees outside. And once you've set that, press the back arrow to come back out of it and it'll ask if you wanna confirm the settings and just press yes. And that's it.